This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad and welcome to leaving your space marine outside of the fridge for way too long. The man's gone rotten. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint Stinky Pete. But only if you click the like button and if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Because for every new subscriber that I get, I will have one more new subscriber. Now let's do the Stinky Pinky. The first thing that I'm going to do is throw away all the footage for the green armor that I painted on this guy. And now because I've done that, I'm going to need to show you by painting this robotic garbage disease Roomba. And so I start out with the Xenothal highlight. This, I'm going to use a volumetric Xenothal. Basically, I'm just spraying white from the top, but I'm adding volumes to the areas of the model that I want to push some of those highlights a little bit brighter. Over the top of this, I'm going to spray a base green. And as you can see, I'm spraying this fairly thinly through my airbrush. There's nothing too fancy about spraying this over the model. It's mostly just laying the color down, but not too thick because we want to make sure some of those shadows still stand out. I'm going to use a bit of blue Drakenhof Nightshade, which is a wash, in order to give a little bit more contrast to some of this armor on the model. This I'm going to spray in the areas that I want to create a little bit more contrast as well as mostly from the bottom of the model. I'm then going to use a bright green and I'm going to go into all the areas that I want to highlight and make look brighter. This is the areas that the light would be hitting and be the strongest in order to create the most saturated version of this color. Then in order to create some crevasse shading or panel line shading on this model, I'm going to use an oil wash, but this time I'm going to use Prussian blue. The reason I use blue over black is because this creates a little bit more vibrant colors on the model, which makes it look a little bit more saturated and a little bit less muddy. I'm going to take some white spirits and I'm going to cut back over the top of that oil wash and bar Rubbing it, I'm going to be able to remove some of it. Because I never put any gloss varnish over the top of this model before I used the oils, it's going to remove some of the previous paint layers. But in this case, I actually want that effect because it gives a little bit more effect to the paint layer itself. I'm going to go back in with bright green. I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow into this in order to create the highest of the highlight spots that I could possibly create. And to be honest, I actually don't really know where these things are supposed to go because I'm not very practiced in this, but I do have a little bit of knowledge from my previous years of painting and drawing on paper. So I'm going to draw on that knowledge while I'm working on this model. After I'm happy with how the armor looks, I'm going to paint all the rest of the items on the model black. And the reason I do this is because it makes it easier for me to come in and paint things that I want to have a slight darker shadow on the outside of them. Or if I want to go all the way around, I can. But leaving the black underneath is totally going to help make that object look like it's aligned or has darker recesses on it. This is essentially panel line shading, but for free. I'm then going to use bronze and brass metallic colors, and I'm going to paint all the trim that is on this model. After I'm happy with all the trimming, I'm going to start working on the eyes. This is very, very difficult because they are so small. But if you take your time, have a little bit of patience and uh, very carefully, not overloading your brush, paint it with the most softest of hands, you will probably be very upset with your first outcome. However, if you do this a couple of times, eventually you get slightly used to it. And if you are going to make a mistake or you think you are, just have a brush next to you with water and you can just wipe it off very quickly before it dries. This way you can come back and uh, fix it. For the base, I'm just going to slap a load of this red Martian kind of color paint all over it and it has little specks of sand in it so it's a little bit sandy and the reason I do this is because it's a green man so green and red it's contrast they stand off it makes it look it's just it's theory I'm gonna put a wash all over all the metallic pieces and this is to dull it down a little bit because this specific model I don't want him looking prim and proper and clean 
And speaking of prim and proper and clean, I'm going to need to add a load of rust onto the model and make him look really dirty and old and rotten and worn out and uh, gross. Whilst that streaking rusty stuff is uh, drying, I'm going to work on the base again. And basically I'm going to just dry brush a little bit of a highlight onto the base and I'm going to take some pigment powders which is also red rusty in kind of color and i'm going to paint that all over the base around his feet and some way up the legs as well in order to seal that in i'm going to use a matte medium varnish and this is just going to stop it from going all over the place while i work on the rest of the model there is something coming out the side of him and i'm not sure what this is i'm pretty sure it's not jam for use on scones at the end of a battle day but I need to paint it to look kind of like jam, so I'm going to paint it white first. I'm going to use Megos Purple Contrast Paint over the top of that, and it's going to give me some free shading. I don't have to work too hard. A little bit of stippling of white over the top of that, very thinned, and it will make it kind of look like it's been shaded, almost like I tried. I'm going to use an airbrush to paint the sword that is hanging off of his back. And once I've got that looking kind of cool with a little bit of lines around the edges, I'm going to paint in some of the other details. For example, the wraps and things that go around the sword and around the staff that he's holding in his hand. And it is now time to start working on his gat. Now this kind of a diseased man obviously has a very large gun in his hand. And this is for shooting space marines who try to attempt taking his... Um, cheese during the lunch break. Now of course Space Marines don't care about cheese, they only care about cupcakes, but that is besides the point. I'm going to use the same colors for highlighting those little metallic pieces as I used on his body, that just makes sense. I'm going to use Gnome Oil to go into some of the recesses and make sure that they look a little bit dark. I'm also going to use a silver to highlight the edges. I'm going to do one layer of uh, lining. What is it called? I'm going to do one layer of edge highlighting. And once I've done that, I'm going to come back with a bit of white and edge highlight some of the higher spots just to kind of make a specular highlight in certain areas. I also want to make sure not to forget to rust this weapon as well because of course even his weapons need to be rusty and gross. And once I had made sure that the rust was where I needed to be, I'm going to then call this model done. Hopefully you managed to take something out of this video that may help you painting disease space marine man. Maybe you have some suggestions, maybe you would like to ask a question, leave some words in the little square box that YouTube allows you to leave words in. Of course, I would like to say a super special thank you to everybody who watches the videos, as well as to my patrons who you will see coming across the screen right now. It is also Christmas and I want to make sure that everybody who is watching this video it knows that I am saying very Merry Christmas to you and uh, season's greetings to all the rest who don't support Christmas. But we are now at the end of the video and if there is nothing you liked in the video, there is not much I can say to you other than um, it's Christmas. So just like the video and uh, click subscribe. You don't even need to fuck off. Now I'm packing some models up so I can go paint it me ass. <laughs>